for what range of y is this expansion valid this is not asking you to expand this bracket firstly you should look at the top we got minus four you are going to check which of this range do you think will make this binomial expansion valid let's rearrange this this is same as saying one over one minus two y all to the power of four this is as same as saying find the domain of this function zero is not allowed under any fraction what is here can be anything zero is allowed up here but zero is not allowed down here once you get zero at the denominator of any fraction it becomes undefined for this to become invalid is when y is equal to half if we substitute that here we're going to have one over two minus y becomes half and what is here is four two we take away two and you're going to have one over one minus one to the power of four and you have one over zero to the power of four automatically this becomes undefined here we can get a negative is not a problem problem is only when y is equal to half this is when we are going to have a problem to make this expansion valid y must not be equal to half this negative we need to put it on check hence we are going to have minus 2y must not be greater than 1. The absolute value of this must be less than 1. If this happens, then this equation continues. But whenever this is equal to 1, we are going to have a problem. This also can be written as 2y must be less than 1. Rewriting this, it can be written as minus half must be less than y must be less than half. Here, we can have two leaving y here, y in brackets, and this is 1 over 2. This is our answer and this is also our answer this is the same thing as this both have the same meaning in mathematics however the absolute value of y less than half is not the same thing as y less than half from our option this is the only condition that will make this expansion valid our answer is d assuming the question says we should expand this because this is a negative power we're going to apply the formula one plus x to the power of lambda we give you one over zero factorial plus the next one will be lambda x over 1 factorial. The next one will be lambda, lambda minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared. Plus the next one is going to be lambda, lambda minus 1, lambda minus 2 over 3 factorial x to the power of 3 plus it continues you can see that when we have this zero factorial one factorial two factorial three factorial and when you have one factorial here is one when you have two factorial the x is having two 
when you have three factorial the x is having three why do we have zero factorial here here is x to the power of zero applying that here to one minus two y or to the power of minus four we are going to have one over zero factorial plus here our lambda is minus four so this is minus four and our x here is minus two y over one factorial plus the next one is minus four and we are having lambda again which is minus four minus one over two factorial our x here now becomes minus two y all to the power of two remember this is one this is two the next one this will be three on the other side and this continues till to the fourth power so this is how we expand any binomial expansion that has a negative power or a fraction or negative fraction however in this question we were not asked to expand the bracket we are just asked to find the range at which this expansion is valid which is d in our next video we are going to be looking at fractional index or negative power which we briefly have seen in this video i will see you in the next video